But but now now comes the final showdown between Pastor Stegi and Danny. And this, I don't know if you've got this, this is, this is the penultimate episode of The Prisoner where number two and number six are talking. And number two is in charge. Pastor Stegi is number two. Danny Wagner is number six. And he eventually turns the table and he basically defeats Pastor Stegi. In the end, Pastor Stegi is lying on the floor, basically. Uh, and, and, you know, so we get, we get Christine again still wanting to sing. Pastor Stegi, I'm running this classroom. Danny, so run it then. Pastor Stegi, I will, I mean. Danny, it's called cosmic fine-tuning. Pastor, what? The belief that the cosmos has just the right degree of properties for human life to be. Pastor Stegi, well, there you go. Proof that God is real. Danny, Pastor Stegi, Pastor Stegi, Pastor Stegi. Don't you know anything? <laughs> you know, and, and, and then, you know, a little bit further on, Christine is, let's sing a Christmas carol. Let's sing a Christmas carol. And... And and we we get this this long scene because this this goes on for about seven or eight pages the ending or maybe about five or six pages with Danny and Pastor Stegi in this sort of uh, uh, philosophical battle here and by the end of it you, as you had mentioned Pastor Stegi uh, you know is just saying the same word over and over again uh, and then Danny says I think you need a vacation Pastor Stegi what Danny get away Pastor Stegi I'm retiring Danny. You always say that, but you never leave. It's a nipple, I tell you, and you are the baby. Pastor Stegi, you know. Then Danny, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Then we hear, <laughs> then we hear, friend the cat comes back. And then Pastor Stegi, stay in your seat, Danny. Christine, let's sing a Christmas carol. So Christmas, Christine starts singing Away in a Manger, which again goes back to the 72 video. Christine's singing Away in the Manger as Danny and Pastor Stegi go on and uh, on again. And then, then Danny, it, it's not better up there. Pastor Stegi, it is. Danny, nothing up there. Pastor Stegi, there is. Danny, no, you're wrong. I'm right. You have to be wrong. Danny, too bad for me, maybe. And so, Danny eventually wears Pastor Stegi down. That by the end, uh, we the, the ending here. Uh, Danny says of his sister's singing, she just wants to torture us. And then Danny, uh, as Christine ends, Danny says, "Damn, that's the end." Pastor Stegi's blackout. Then a spotlight goes up on the face of Pastor Stegi as he sits up on the floor. Pastor Stegi, we don't use the word damn in this classroom, Danny. Blackout. Then a spotlight goes up on the face of Danny Wagner. Okay, okay. Blackout. Spotlight up on Danny Wagner. Done. That's the end. Blackout. Then Pastor Stegi, he, we, he gets light. And then he just simply sighs and lays back down on the floor as if, as if he's just been totally defeated. And so that's that's the ending. So I this, this like I said, I, I had in my mind, I wanted to have Pastor Stegi as number two and Danny as number six. And, and even though Danny... Uh, may lose in real life and isn't going to be well known or famous or what. Danny at least beats the forces of unreason in this play, which is past. When he lies on the ground, though, uh, I did get that it was from the prisoner. It's sort of like the classic scene where Rover goes and gets number six. So Pastor Stegi's been put in the number six role at the end. Well, no, I he, he at, at the end, if you remember, number two. Uh, is drinking and then he, he he basically faints in the little cage scene. So I was going for that. I don't think I don't I wouldn't put I wouldn't say that the, there's any rover in this scene. I mean no, I don't, I don't mean it that way. I mean there's a classic scene in The Prisoner where Rover attacks him and you see number six sprawled out on the on the oh, beat. That yeah. it has that same image. Yeah, but but Pastor Stegi is in the role of number six. But here here is where. Uh, there's no music other than Christine singing derangedly again. Um, the reprise is basically uh, what it, it distills uh, something deep and philosophical. And I think the reprise, uh, you know, even if you remove Christine singing, works as just a dramatic battle between the pastor and the unbeliever. And, you know, at one point, Danny even says, I'm nine years old. I'm, you know, this stuff is nonsense. It's ridiculous. Why do you believe this? You know? And, and Pastor Stegi is cast, not the real Pastor Stegi, but the, the fictive Pastor Stegi, as this guy who just needs this nipple, as Danny calls it. And uh, I think it's, it's a really good and effective end. And because it ends in a dramatic way, it uplifts the whole rest of the play, too. I was going to say that, too. If you would have ended before the reprise, I think you could still argue it was a great play, but it was a much better play with that reprise. Yeah.